In the 2011 Libyan conflict, more than 900,000 people were forced to flee death, violence and persecution, mainly to neighbouring Egypt and Tunisia. Some 1,200 of them were already refugees from Eritrea, Iraq, Somalia and Sudan. Even during the daily life in Tripoli, even before the revolution, people used to discriminate against me because of my skin colour. When the revolution started, we trapped ourselves at home and we didn't go out. We woke early in the morning to go out and buy bread, but some thugs would beat us and steal our money and take our bread. I preferred to go towards the unknown than stay trapped. I rented a car, I paid 80 dinars, and I had nine other people with me. The Eritreans that stayed back in Tripoli, in Libya, were beaten up, and some of them disappeared. We have no idea where they are today. That's what would have happened to me if I would have stayed there. After the conflict ended in October 2011, most of the Libyans who had fled started to return. But for the refugees, going back to Libya was not an option. There, they would have faced further danger from intercommunal tensions and reprisals by armed groups. They could still not return to their home countries either, nor could they stay and settle down in Egypt and Tunisia. Trapped in camps at the border and in need of solutions to their plight, those refugees most at risk were selected for resettlement to third countries and transferred to the emergency transit centre in Timisoara, Romania. The groups that are here have come out of the transit camps on the Tunisian border and on the Egyptian border. These refugees um, illustrate the threat that there is uh, to refugees in a war-torn country. Risk refugees face without, uh, without ETC is um, very simply death. I mean, that is, that is what it comes down to. The transit centre in Timisoara is one of three facilities worldwide that provide temporary shelter for refugees who are not safe in their first country of asylum and need a safe place to stay until they can be resettled. The refugees receive medical care, social and psychological support, as well as cultural orientation to their host countries. The centre has a prayer room, sports hall, leisure room and playground to cater for the needs of these vulnerable people. It's only after the refugees move out of the situation of uh, immediate threat that they start to process uh, everything that's happened to them. They need a lot of uh, support, social and uh, psychological support. 37 people in one Toyota with our water and food for about 15 days. But unfortunately, I was uh, arrested by Libyan police. I was detained for some days and I was transferred to Zelatin. This is the worst prison in, uh, in Libya. I stayed for about two years. Then I was uh, released by the help of UNHCR. For me, refugee means, uh, as a refugee, I need protection. Since its establishment in 2008, the Emergency Transit Centre in Timisoara has hosted almost a thousand refugees from crisis situations around the world. So far, some 900 of them have been resettled to third countries, mostly to the United States, the United Kingdom, the Netherlands, Canada and Sweden. <laughs>